So we're out here looking for the famous eagle rare. I don't know if I'll, oh, is, is that it right there? Oh no, it's just a dumb bird. What? Whoa. Hey, welcome back Whiskey Questers to another episode of Whiskey Quests. For those of you that are new, my name is Antonio. And in this channel, I get to try whiskeys from all over the world. I like to add a drop of water to each one of them just to see if it changes. You'll never know unless you try it. If that's something you guys like to watch, go ahead and hit that subscribe button with the bell notification. Stick around for more videos. Let's move on with today's review of Eagle Rare 10 year old Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Yeah. Like I said, this is a 10 year old Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. This one will cost you around $30 to $35, depending where you are. We'll get to that in a little bit. It's bottled at 90 proof and it comes from Buffalo Trace. Now, they use the number one mash bill that they have over there, which is undisclosed, but it's believed to be a low rye uh, mash bill kind of whiskey. So I think they say maybe 10% or less in rice. So that to me just means there's a little bit more malted barley in there to add a little bit of that softness. Uh, that's just my opinion, but let's get straight into the review with the color on this whiskey right here. And 10 years old is gonna give it a nice deep gold kind of color. Really awesome color here. Let's just get straight into the whiskey guys. On the nose. First thing that hits me right up front is like an orange citrus, like a like an orange peel. Very woody. Get some leather notes. Definitely somewhere like a like a cinnamon kind of note. Maybe nutmeg, but nonetheless, it's a very nice aromatic kind of kind of bourbon. And I could just sit here and nose this all night long without drinking it, honestly. It's not super complex, but what's in the glass is really nice. All right, let's just move on straight on to the tasting, guys. Cheers, everybody. Delicious. Just the first sip right there gives you a nice warm mouth coating. Lots of cinnamon, like I was saying, like on the nose. There's definitely some barrel aging influence in this one right here. It's uh it's not superly oaked, but it's it's very it's it's a very noticeable flavor, honestly. Second sip. You start detecting a little bit more of the sweetness, like the vanilla. I'd say a little bit of chocolate also in there. That orange citrus comes through as well. A nice leathery note also coming through. Pretty much what you get on the nose, you're getting also on the palate. But a little bit more sweeter on the palate than the nose. And it's not like, like a candied kind of whiskey. This is, this is fantastic. The finish on this one, I don't think it's a super long kind of finish, but it is somewhere on the medium side. And it just lingers with a nice char kind of barrel influence with uh, some, some dark burnt brown sugar in there. A little bit bitter in the back there, but nonetheless, I think it has a lot of character. All right, so let's add a drop of water to this right here whiskey and let it sit just for a little bit to, so it can open up. It's gonna add one drop right there. I don't think it needs that much, honestly. So we'll set this down here and get right back to the whiskey. But while that's opening up, I wanna talk about the price. Now, like I said, 
30 to 35 dollars depending where you go or where you are because here in illinois it's a little bit hard to find honestly this one i've seen it i'd say three times since i started drinking whiskey neat and the very first time i saw it i honestly didn't know what it was but i soon found out that this was one of those bottles that that i i needed to try and i think it was at a store that i saw it at uh i asked the guy how much he was selling it because it didn't have a price anywhere and he's like oh that's that's very hard to find that one that one's 80 dollars, but it's really good i'm like 80 dollars. i'm like yeah no nah, i'm not gonna pay that so walked out of that store did a little bit of research and found out that it retails for 30 to 35 dollars like i said earlier and uh like i said it's a little bit hard to find here in illinois and this was <laughs> believe it or not in uh christmas of 2017 when i bought this bottle and i barely opened this uh i think maybe a month ago it was on on a, on a live stream for um the whiskey crusaders they were celebrating uh, one of their milestones and I happened to pop in on their video and I and I opened it to to give them a toast and a cheers for for you know to congratulate them but anyways I found this at another store and they were selling it for 50 so I was like all right you know I'm what, what are the chances of me finding a bottle here for 30 to 35 dollars so I went ahead and paid 50 dollars for this bottle and Oddly enough, as soon as I bought this bottle, right after Christmas, I saw it at another store for $35. <sighs> but I ended up paying the $50, and I am not disappointed that I paid $50 for this. So on the nose with a little bit of water, the first thing that happens, it's just to me, it gets really sweet. I have like honey coming out now. It's a nice, soft, mellow kind of, kind of like a like a vanilla bean. Maybe some toffee along those lines. But that oakiness is there. It's just more more toned down. That nutmeg is also in there. Everything is toned down. It's just like the the sweetness got amplified a little bit. I think it improved it a little bit. I don't know, but let's see what happens on the palate. I haven't tried this with water, so let's see what happens. Cheers, everybody. Oh yeah. What it did to me right there, that cinnamon, the spiciness got kicked up a notch right there. So it gave me that nice spicy flavor that I love getting on my bourbons. Now that orange citrus comes through the palate a little bit more noticeable. You still get that oakiness, that barrel char influence, that cinnamon, like I was saying, and like those dark brown, burnt brown sugar oh, notes also there. And the finish just, I think remained the same, honestly. It didn't, didn't go shorter or anything like that. It's just made things a little bit softer uh, I think a little bit more palatable. So I myself enjoy this now with a little bit of water added to it. But I'll start off the night with, with it just neat. And then as I'm about to finish it, I'll add that drop just to change it up. <sighs> yeah, great stuff. All right, so my final thoughts on the Eagle Rare 10 year old Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey here. This. If you find this for thirty to five dollars, definitely pick the bottle up. I don't think you'll be disappointed if you love bourbon or are getting into whiskey and you're starting off with bourbon. This is one of those bottles you want to get put on your bar. And uh, just be courteous to people. You know, if it's hard to find in your area, I, I think that's one of the reasons why we can't find it here that easy. Is because as soon as it hits shelves. The word spreads and it's gone so you know just just be courteous if, if you see a a, a a shelf with like maybe six bottles on there you know get one or two but then leave some there don't don't go taking the whole shelf leave some for the other people i don't know if i'll pay 50 again now that i tried it i just paid it because i really wanted to try it but 
but at $30, $35, I'm definitely grabbing another bottle. So having said that, I think I'm gonna score this a nice high 92 out of 100. It's an excellent whiskey. Really do think that everybody should have this on their bar at one point in their whiskey drinking journey. All right, Whiskey Questers, that's it for the review for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was a review that I needed to get out of the way because I've been holding on to this bottle now that it's open and it's opening up nicely. Definitely gonna share this with my brothers as soon as this goddamn quarantine's over so we can get together and uh, have a drink. I'd like to hear what you guys think of Eagle Rare. If you've tried it, let me know in the comments below. Am I right? Is this something that everybody should be picking up or is this something that was maybe not up your alley? Put that in the comments below and let me know why you didn't like Eagle Rare that much. If you like this video, give me a like, share it with your friends. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't, along with that bell notification. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers. You would really be doing me a favor by helping me reach that goal. Having said that, cheers everybody. I hope you guys are staying safe. Keep it clean <laughs> and keep sipping. Cheers everybody. Peace.